Hello friends! So in this video I will be demonstrating how to replace the 3.5 inch hard drive with an SSD of an iMac 2011 model. So I'll be using a S-Grip uh, to help me remove the display. So as you may have read it on different sites, there are magnets here which are connected to the display. So I will be using this big grip to help suck the very carefully. So that's it. Now very carefully because there are there is dust, as you can see. Uh, we will be removing the TFT display after removing these eight screws, as you can see, here, here, here. And then there are three cables, which I'll be showing you. There are eight screws to be removed with a Torx T10 uh, screwdriver. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, and eight. Now, after removing the screws, don't hurry because there are cables. Right now, I will show you the first one. This is, I guess, the antenna. So lift it very slowly because you have to remove this socket very carefully. Now I will continue after removing this one and I would like to show you the display and lots of dust. Uh, so maybe even if you are not considering to change the hard drive, it's time to clean it because as you can see it's like a trash. Oh. Now very slowly we will be lifting the left part, there you will see the LED backlight driver cables and very gently now we will have to remove them. And lastly we will be removing these two cables, so please use help, help from your friend or from your family because a single person doing that is not easy. Now we have removed four cables as you see. Now it's time very gently to remove this display to a safe place. Don't touch the display mm -hmm. if you don't want to have dust and dirt. Now there are two screwdrivers. I removed this one and this second one. Now very carefully we'll lift it up and gently remove the SATA and the power cable of the hard drive. Now uh, here you have to use either a 2.5 inch hard drive to 3.5 inch hard drive converter or you will use this adapter with only one screw to help you attach uh, the board. Uh, I think that it's so lightweighted that you won't have any problems even if you use one screwdriver. We will see. Now here uh, you will have to use a long screw. You cannot use the ones who are from the 3.5 inch hard drive because the holes are a bit smaller for this kind of screw. Uh, so I have, I will be using a long one. If you don't have a long standard uh, hard drive screw, you have to remove these plastics. Friends, I had to use some tape in order to secure the second part because 
as you see. I've used here the scribe, but the second scribe is a bit far, so you can actually attach with the type if you want to secure the drive. Okay, done. As you see, there is lots of space right now. Maybe it's also good for the ventilation and it will be lighter. Now, after plugging back the cables, I've gently placed the screen in place and now going to screw back the uh, screws. And after booting your iMac, don't forget to reset the PRAM with after powering up your iMac, you have to press the Option, Command and PR all together. Then it will reset again and it will boot. Of course, all before of that, you need to pack up your hard drive to the SSD drive. Good luck!